Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here, friends. Uh, today, I want to uh, share with you a piece of information that I think can um, shape the way that you are looking at the market. Maybe it will be helpful. And I look forward to your feedback after this video to understand whether uh, you agree with me or if you have a different point of view. We are all seeing that the stock market is high and we are talking about the price multiples and I've made those comments earlier as well. So today I'm going to talk about why we have this illusion that everything is pretty good, especially in the stock market. And it has to do with inflation and the debt and how they are related to the stock market. The stock market has been soaring to unprecedented heights in recent years. However, if you take a closer look, it reveals a complex interplay of factors, including the insidious effects of inflation, the looming debt crisis, and the speculative frenzy that characterizes modern investing. A gold standard reality check to truly understand the impact of uh, inflation on asset prices will give us a good um, understanding. So let's revisit a historical benchmark, the gold standard. In 1974, the average price of a house in the United States was approximately $40,000. At that time, an ounce of gold cost approximately $183.77. This means that the average house could be purchased with roughly 218 ounces of gold. Fast forward today, the average price of the house has surged to well over 400,000 and the average price of gold is currently around 2,655.33 per ounce. As a result, the average house now requires 151 ounces of gold to purchase. Now, if you look at the price of the house in terms of gold ounces, earlier we needed 218 ounces to buy the house and uh, today we need only 151. So actually the price of house has gone down, right? However, if you look at it in terms of dollars, what costed 40,000 in 1974 costs today around $400,000. Now, in terms of US dollars, it seems it has become expensive. But if you look at it in terms of gold ounces, it is costing you less ounces of gold today than it did before. So what does that mean? It basically means that people who own the house and who feel that their house is now worth a million dollars may psychologically feel rich, but the purchasing power that they had uh, has actually eroded and it has eroded to a certain extent, but not entirely if they had kept that $40,000 that they had in a bank or in, uh, in a mattress uh, in uh, 1974 and did not touch it, uh, it would have eroded a lot more in value. So if you keep that concept in mind and then look at what is happening in the stock market, I would say that the stock market's accent is uh, fueled uh, not only by corporate earnings and economic growth, but also by a speculative frenzy. Investors driven by herd mentality and fear of missing out pour money into stocks, often disregarding fundamental valuation. This combined with the decreasing value of the dollar creates a bubble where asset prices rise far beyond their intrinsic worth. The current market characterized by high price to earning ratios is a prime example of such a bubble. While the US dollar status as a global reserve currency has helped to prop up the market, the increasing debt burden and potential economic turmoil pose significant risks. There is another factor that is increasingly playing into it. Foreign money is pouring into ETFs and you have index ETFs which have got monthly payment from salaries and paychecks going into it directly without any question and the index gets changed. For example, many people who are going to be buying QQQ on a monthly basis uh, with a recurring systematic investment plan are going to now have exposures to exposure to Bitcoin whether they like it or not because uh, micro strategy is going to be part of uh, NASDAQ and if there is a NASDAQ index ETF, they are going to be a uh, QQQ index ETF, then they are going to be uh, buying that, whether they know it or not. And there is no discrimination between well-performing companies and companies that are not doing too well. As long as they are in the, uh, included in the index, they get propped up. So a lot of foreign money coming in, going into ETFs, passive investing, uh, going in, and the lack of results from value investing where you've got uh, active investing happening, 
uh, all of this has led to the current situation and i believe that there is a lot of uh, risk in there and i think there is a looming debt crisis if you look at the us government staggering debts now exceeding 36 trillion dollars it's a ticking time bomb servicing this massive debt requires massive interest payments which strain the federal budget as the interest raises the cost of debt will only increase further exacerbating the financial crisis the us government's ability to maintain its credit rating is increasingly uncertain a downgrade could trigger a market panic as investors lose confidence in the dollar and the us treasury securities i'm not saying this is going to happen i'm just saying that there is the risk of this happening i think it's a wake up call for retail investors and it's crucial to approach the market with caution the current euphoria may not last and the market correction could lead to significant losses and that correction could even be rapid. So diversification, risk management and the long term investment horizon are essential strategies to weather potential storms. In conclusion, while the stock market may appear to be booming, a deeper analysis reveals a more sovereign reality. Inflation has eroded the value of money. So now you need more money to buy the same assets and the speculative frenzy has inflated the asset prices beyond their true worth. As the debt crisis looms and geopolitical tension rises, investors must be prepared for a potential market downturn. To preserve purchasing power, I think investors should consider allocating a portion of their portfolio to hard assets such as gold, real estate or commodities. Cash, while convenient, is losing value year after year due to inflation. Although the US dollar remains strong compared to other currencies, other currencies are also depreciating globally. It's essential to recognize that even though we may not directly perceive the devaluation of the US dollar, it is happening gradually and I have proved it to you by using gold as a measure for house prices from 1974 and comparing them with the house prices right now. So I think that kind of brings me to the end of this video where I'm just saying that the market has probably run its course and while one cannot predict exactly when the markets would crash, I think at the very least a correction is imminent. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm very apprehensive that it's highly imminent. It could happen anytime. Now, I would like to hear from you guys what you think about this theory. Please put it in the comment section so that I can understand what you think about it and get a fresh perspective from you guys. With that, my friends, I'd like to bring this video to an end. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll catch up with you again in the next video. Bye for now.